Hello everyone, it's Buddha. Uh, sorry for being not too loud, but <clears throat> it's already like midnight and we need to finish it quite quickly. So we will go through the... <clears throat> we will go through group A where two alliances are fighting. I forgot the names of them. <laughs> Let's see what are the names. Uh, the names are Kingsman versus United Silesian Legion. So Kingsman are quite good. So it's Judy, Treji, Popor, and Laneus versus uh, MK. MK is from Poland. So they are. They have Russia, Italy, Spain, Morocco, and Great Britain. I cannot show you coalitions, unfortunately, but let's imagine that we draw something. Let's have a quick draw. Let's take a picture. And the blue ones are Silesians. Wait, wait. Right. The red ones will be red ones will be our friends from Kingsman and they lack fifth one <laughs> big if so I I'm guessing they will play this like that so they can attack Russia or Italy or maybe even Morocco don't know <laughs> we'll see <laughs> For now, how it looks like, they have a lot of common borders. They need to move quickly Sweden to Germany and probably take out Russia because it's separated. Russia cannot do anything except creating resources for now. So I will say that Russia will fortify this area and just produce resources and will be going to help France. Uh, at the same time, those four countries can strike against France. That's the natural target for them. There is a problem with that guy. He will have to either go to Spain, which is a long round, or try through Netherlands, which is risky, so probably he will go straight away to land in Lille. So they will have like four armies versus one, two, three, probably three. Because I'm pretty sure that to release the tension, to release the pressure on the France, after Hungary will attack here, while the Germans will send troops in. Both ways, France should belong to Silesian Legion quite soon, so with so with France conquered, it could be easy then to simply decide which one to take first. Hmm. Because Sweden is quite close and Turk Ottomans are inactive, I will say that they will then attack through Hungary and then into Germany. So this is my type. First France, then two Austro-Hungary, three Germany. But what about... What about... Kingsman, what they can do? Let's see. They can... They cannot do too much with four guys. They probably will try to defend as long as they can. And by four, I mean, they can take out Northern Ireland, Italy, and then try to conquer Italy. But that's really all they can do. <laughs> here two armies, here one. They can also focus on Russia, I guess. Triple attack while sacrificing completely France that will be destroyed and take it out of existence. That makes sense. 
with the with that yeah I think this is the best course of action evacuate France here fortify this border there's like one two three three provinces maybe four you take Ger France will defend this border why Germany Austria Hungary and Sweden will attack Russia yeah that looks good especially if we can join Ottomans at some point or maybe the Ottomans will go here yeah that looks fine there is also possibility for Ottomans to go for Serbia get a capital bonus money and have a land land road to Austria Hungary yeah we'll see that Ottoman not present right now it could be a trick but we'll see how it goes that's that's the best course of action take out Russia and give away France I think yeah <laughs> should work but we'll see how it goes for them All right next we have so this favors right now it favors Silesian, Silesians but when Ottomans will join I think it will be for Kingsmen easy pick because they can decide to attack Russia or Italy and so it's easy right next one we have Blitzkrieg versus fighting group Polish Eagles Ogryski so who are Ogryski they are Polish team this is France UK Sweden Russia and where is the fifth one the fifth one let's see which one is the fifth one Maxim no Maxim is Blitz hmm. maybe that guy CRD to Potiomkin Egon for sure is Arturo let's see yeah Arturo is with them shit too many okay so what do we have here let's draw the action it's easier that way <laughs> right Ogreski so Ogreski are here 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 they have a lot of food and a lot of oil while the blitzkrieg has that 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 yeah so i'm pretty sure blitz will go for france and then russia At the same time, yeah, and they are very successful with that. It's about defending here for the time being, so they should be able to do it. But what about Ogryski? What Ogryski can do? Well, Ogryski can fortify France with UK. Do their best while. Sweden lands in Riga and goes through Germany. Problem is, this is a very long road. Very, very long road. They can try to go through <clears throat> Denmark, but it's risky because then Finland can attack. So I think they won't do it. Shit. So, mm, what I think they will do is they will go for the safe way. Yeah, save way is the easiest for them. They can try to land Sweden in France. Not sure if they can do it in two days, three days probably. Hmm, Ottomans. Landing here will waste them time. While well, attacking through Serbia will cause all those three countries to have an easy way to Ottomans. So I'm not sure what they will do. Safe bet is to go into Russia and attack with Russia. 
But if we are sure that Russia can attack on its own and drag some attention, then that attack can be quite devastating because we will have attacks coming from three sides. And I think this is what, what we, they will do. Sweden to Riga, and with Russia they push Germans. Russia put half an army or even 80% of army here and push on Hungary while Ottomans go through Serbia. At that time, unfortunately, those guys are dying. So it would be two versus two, I guess, roughly around this edge. And that, I would say that probably If this happens, then Ogreski have advantage because they can take out all those AIs, get capitals, get points from them. This is something those guys cannot do. They have only one capital here. Maybe second here, that's all. Not one, two, three, four, five, six capitals. So, <clears throat> so I will say that if that scenario happens, Ogreski win even though they will lose two countries. Hmm. But we will see how it will go. Let's quickly see. Is there any chance those two countries can withstand the attack from five? Not really. Not really if those two are committed, plus some troops from here. Yeah. But even if they die, Ogreski win in the east, get those AIs and win. So yeah, good game for Ogryski. Third, third game, it's our game, Boot Brigade, as I said already. It's easy to follow because we have legacy. We can see coalitions, my coalition, enemy coalition. As simple as that. Enemies have two units here, three units here. Easiest attack is through Spain. And Morocco, we get oil and then we can take out eastern part, eastern block. We can commit up to three armies, UK, France, Italy. But those two have to stay vigilant and defend us from the east. So yeah, what the opponents can do? The opponents have a couple of options. Uh, amphibious landing into Italy from Morocco and Ottomans, Spain and Morocco for France, <clears throat> Sweden, Ottomans to Russia and then attack on Germany, Austria-Hungary, or Sweden through Denmark into Germany, Ottomans through Serbia into Austria-Hungary, while Russia is uh, disturbing Germany and Hungarians in the east. Quite simple. How does it look like? Let's have a look. Uh, drawings maybe be closer a little bit that way. Yep. So plans, red plans. Yeah. Yep. So they can go there or they can go there with Russians. You can also try to go here or here, but this is too risky, I think. All right, so let's stay with those two. Also, this one. It's not the best because you have Finland attacking you. So let's stay with the most probable one. Then Ottoman can also attack with Russia or through, through Serbia. Going through Serbia will leave opening for three, four countries from our part to, inside, to go inside. So I'm pretty sure they will land. But you never know. At the same time, you have possibility for... Uh, Morocco and Spain to hit France, quite risky knowing that we have one, two, three countries that can support France. Another one is Morocco and Ottomans attacking Italy. This is what I'm hoping for. This is why I'm here. This is where Papa, Papa Drus is sitting. This is why I chose though that country. Because it's the, the hardest one to play. Uh, 
and I'm expecting a lot of enemy troops coming after me. So yeah, you have one, two, three, four legible plans, doable plans for them. Oh, and for us, it's to be honest, only one. One that is. Get as many troops as possible into that part of the world while defending the rest. The risky plan is plan is risky because we don't know what will happen in Serbia or here. So we don't want to commit too much. We can commit fully England, full France, fifty percent of Italy. I think that all. <laughs> Two and a half army against two. Maybe we can commit 50 German, 50 percent of Germans, but this would be risky. Anyway, uh, I think it's easy. You can also try to attack Russia, but Russia, yeah, Russia is big. It's hard to fight against Russia to conquer all those provinces. It takes a couple of days, like five days, to conquer everything. Uh, you can also try to go from Serbia into here. Going to Sweden, very bad idea. Russia, of course, either Riga or Kiev. And, oh, excuse me, oh, midnight, midnight. It's almost impossible to win quickly if you attack Russia or Ottomans. But we need to attack, so I'm pretty sure that's the best plan. The fastest, the safest. Okay, I'm pretty sure we'll win because we have the central position. So we are able in general to control most of bots. Capital here, 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 here. Maybe not, not Greece, but maybe we can get there. So, Plus, we can move troops east, west, north, south. They cannot do it. They can focus two armies here. They can focus three armies here. Or we can focus up to three, four armies almost anywhere. Here, one, two, one, two, three, four, four armies. Here in the Russia, one, two, three, three armies. Yeah, maybe even more if we can move a little bit of France and UK. So yeah, we have better position, central placing, a lot of movement east, west, north, south. We are able to do things while they are more like a static defense. But we'll see how it goes. I will say that we are more favored in this matchup. But you never know. The execution of the plan is the most important part, and we'll see how it goes. Thank you very much, and see you in the next movie.